us hardcore explorers. We're out here today looking for some wild animals, see what we can see and teach you about. We're professionals, so don't try this at home. First, we're gonna learn about rhinoceroses. Crikey, I spotted one right there. Oh, there she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Scientific name for the rhinoceros is the rhinoceroti. They live in grasslands and open savannas. They also live in zoos, but you know, we're a little more hardcore than that. Rhinoceroses are herbivores. Do you know that there are two species of African rhinos? And they can all gallop up to 30 miles per hour. The rhino lives up to be 35 to 40 years old, and their main predator is the human. Rhinoceros are very endangered, so please do not kill them. Now we're looking for the tape here. Let's see if we can spot one. Crikey, I think I found one right over there. Okay, let's go see it. This is the wild tape here. The scientific name is the Taperus. They are found in Central and South America. These animals are herbivores. They live to 25 to 30 years old. They can weigh up to 800 pounds. Uh, they are endangered, so once again, do not kill these animals unless they are threatening you. Uh, they enjoy the water, just like most mammals. And there are four different species of them. Now we're waiting for that galloping stallion, the horse. If we can find one of those, we can ride them for days. They are beautiful and they're just something magnificent that you've got to experience, you know. I heard a horse! It's right over there, let's go get it! Here's the horse. It's kind of at a distance, so it might be kind of blurry. The scientific name is the Equus ferus cal calibus. calibus. A horse habitat consists of wide fields and plains where they can gaze on the herbs and grasses. Horses can sleep both laying down and standing up. You try that at home. Horses gallop around 44 kilometers per hour, approximately 27 miles per hour. Horses have bigger eyes than any other mammal living on land. Domestic horses have a lifespan of about 25 years, and horses can run very shortly off birth, like this horse is young right there. We're looking for the donkey now. Those, those things there, there's something, you know. Nothing, nothing like you've ever seen before. Let's see if we can find one. We found a donkey. The scientific name for donkeys is Equus africus asinus. They live in all different parts of the world. They are herbivores. A donkey is stronger than a horse of the same size, and they have extremely good memory. China has the largest amount of uh, world's donkeys, and since 2005, donkeys in Britain have been required to have a passport. A group of the group is called a drove herd or pace. Okay, last but not least, we have the zebra. We need to find one of these things. They're very rare, but if we do find one, that'd be fantastic because they're amazing. Let's go looking now. This is the zebra. We finally found one. This is, their scientific name is the Equus grevii. Zebras are herbivores and primarily they eat a variety of grasses. They're also known to eat shrubs, herbs, twigs, leaves, and bark. Plain zebras are found in savannas from Sudan to northern Zimbabwe and eastern Africa. The grey zebras are mostly restricted to the parts of the northern Kenya. Mountain zebras occur in southwest Africa and the Cape Mountain zebras in South Africa. Hartman's Mountain zebras and Nambibaya in Angola. So, why the stripes, you say? When zebras are in groups together, the stripes make it hard for the predator to pick out one zebra to chase. In the wild, zebras live about 20 to 30 years. In zoos, they can live up to 40 years being domesticated. Well, several... Okay, they cannot be successfully domesticated. I was completely wrong. I'm very sorry. Several attempts have been made for them to be domesticated in very many centuries, but none has successfully worked. Zebras in a herd might all look alike, but their stripe patterns are, distinctive, are as distinctive as fingerprints as in a human. Scientists can identify individual zebras by comparing pattern stripe with color and scars. Very interesting, right? I hope you've learned a lot from what you showed you today. We've seen a lot of cool animals and we've interacted with them in different ways. So, just remember, be safe. How neat was that? That was pretty neat.